Hey, it's your girl Tanisha Shanae, Miss Inspiration. And if you are not following my journey as I am preparing to move to Tulsa, Oklahoma, then I do encourage and recommend that you go back and you watch the videos to see how I ended up on this journey. But long story short, I applied for a program called Tulsa Remote, which pays people $10,000 to move to Tulsa, Oklahoma. I signed up and I got accepted. Now, this video is going to document and give you the journey of me purchasing and buying a home virtually in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Now, the $10,000 that you are given, you can either rent an apartment in Tulsa and it has to be in Tulsa. It can't be in outside areas, but you rent the apartment every month. You will get a monthly stipend that will total up to $10,000 by the end of the year, 12 months, you have to be in the program. The other side of it is that if you do decide to purchase a house, you have choices. You can do it just like the rental where you get a stipend every month, or they will give you $10,000 lump sum once you have completed all of the onboarding requirements. I decided based off of my own intuition and my own experience that I wanted to purchase a home. But let me just give you a little bit of background of how I ended up at that decision. So one, I am already a homeowner. I live in New York City, I own my place. And for me, I just didn't wanna to go to the side of renting after already establishing and knowing what it feels like to have equity in my place. So that was one thing. The reason why I even entertained the idea of renting was because I had applied to be pre-approved and I did not get accepted. Did not make me feel good. So I said, you know what? I can just rent a place. It's not that serious. When I went to Tulsa the beginning of August, I just got this feeling when I came back like, if you're gonna pay that much in rent, then you might as well see if you can get approved somewhere else. Because one thing I always know, if one lender does not approve you, another one will. So you have to just keep looking until you find the right lender that is going to uh, look at your situation, analyze it, and give you the best opportunity for you to purchase your next home. So when I was out there, I saw I saw three apartments. This is going to be just an overview of, you know, the different phases, just so that you'll know. So I saw three apartments when I was in Tulsa to rent. The first apartment, the area was decent. And I will say the only thing I did not like about this particular apartment was that all of the, well, the, the unit that I saw, it was like, it wasn't in a basement, but it felt like a basement. It felt like if it rained really bad, my apartment might be flooded. Like the, the windows were not full size windows. So I did not like that. And that apartment did not have a balcony or patio. So I, I definitely was not interested. And they said, you know, depending on your move-in date, we might have a unit that is available for you to have a patio or a balcony, depending on which level you were on. But the unit that I had particularly seen did not have a balcony or patio, and I definitely was not interested in that. The next apartment, I had really liked this unit. That unit was a two bedroom, two bath, and it was a townhouse style. Really liked it. You had a patio and balcony. But when I really thought about it, the space was kind of small. The upside was that it did have a washer and dryer in the unit, so that was definitely a positive. But I did not really care for the fact that they start adding more fees, like garbage and trash. Well, garbage and trash, the same thing. You have to pay for water. And it was like, oh, if you want a two-bedroom apartment, your water bill will be this. And if you want a one-bedroom apartment, your water bill will be that. It was just like a lot of extra fees. And so I was just like, mm, maybe not. But that was the one apartment that I said, if I was to rent, that I would rent that apartment. And the third apartment, it smelled moldy and then my sister saw other things that like the fence was broke and it was like 
on the ground. So there was just certain things that it was just like a little suspect, like one laundry room was not working and they really didn't have a date as to when it was going to be back in operation. So it was just like small things that I was just like, I'm not really comfortable with that. So that when I left Tulsa and I came back to New York, it was just really rest on my heart. Like you're going to buy a house. Like I remember saying that to myself, you're going to buy a house. I didn't have a lender. I didn't have anything, no pre-approval letter, but I knew in my heart that I was going to buy a house. And so I started to research and started to look at different houses. And then I found a lender that was willing to lend me the money so that I can buy the house that I wanted. And that's how I started this journey. So I just really just wanted to give you an overview. And like I said, there's going to be more videos that's going to explain my entire process. I will talk about my amazing realtor and how she was really helpful in getting me the house that I truly wanted and just the entire process. Will I recommend anyone purchasing a house virtually? You're going to have to continue to watch and see what my recommendation would be at the end. Other than that, please continue to follow my journey as I am preparing to officially move to Tulsa, Oklahoma from New York City. So I am Tanisha Shanae, Miss Inspiration.